one question was, you teach people to buy the right house cheap, but when you were talking about, um, you know, the not going to the bank, does that sometimes mean that you can give a better price than maybe some of your competition? Well, that's exactly what I said. So what happens is that when you go through this cost to sell worksheet and you get down to the final bottom line, that is always the first offer is always cash. It's a cash offer. And if they say no to that number, okay, not a problem. We've got a backup plan. We've got the ability to offer them more for their property simply by taking over the existing financing on the property. Or if there's equity in that property that's due to be paid to the seller, then that seller can carry that equity back in the form of monthly, quarterly, semi-annual or annual payments. So there's a way that they can have an income stream off of the same property that they used to own, right? So they sell the property, they still have a mortgage against the property and they're still owed money against that property. So they've got security and they've got a dependable, predictable income stream. And that is such a powerful thing for a lot of people. So many times in my life, I have been absolutely pleased that so many sellers have been excited about the fact that I was offering them a monthly income. You know, sometimes I say, would an extra $300 a month make a difference in your life? And they say, yes, it would. I say, fantastic. All right. That's what we can do. We can give you an extra $300 per month until paid. Would that work for you? And they love that. So there's just a real benefit and gift that you're giving to the seller, solving problems for them as well, they might need that supplemental income and you're providing it to them.